Hey guys, welcome to my smart home project. This is something I've been working on for quite a while now. It's a considerable improvement over what I have done uh, in the past in my previous videos. So let me just explain. This uh, is a shoebox and what I've done is I've created little uh, bedrooms and living rooms. So we've got a kitchen, a living room, master bedroom and the regular bedroom. And this is a control room where I put all my components. We're using a, an ESP32 uh, dev kit version one. We're also using uh, a breadboard power supply module, uh, an L298N. We have a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. We have uh, RGB lights and we have four regular white colored lights. We've got two breadboards. So this is quite a, a contraption. If you take a look at the fritzing diagram, it's quite complex. This is what it looks like in fritzing form, and uh, this is what it looks like in physical form uh, with a box uh, to uh, simulate someone's house. Oh, and also, uh, mustn't uh, forget to mention this, there is also uh, a 1602A LCD display, right? 16 columns and two rows, and we'll get to uh, the function in just a moment and we also need an android phone with a terminal app or a bluetooth controller app now to the right you can see we have a lithium battery you can use uh, four double a batteries uh, i like to use these because these are rechargeable and i plug that directly into the uh, power supply module which in uh, effect powers everything up okay so what I'm going to do, it's already plugged in, so I'm just going to turn this on and it's already starting to power up. Now, I'm going to switch the light off at the top. Okay, there we go. Now, what I've done is I've taken a cup of boiling water and you'll notice it says temperature is 22 degrees. Hopefully you can see it. So the idea is if you're in a home and it gets really hot, this fan will automatically turn on when the temperature reaches a certain level. Also notice the color of the RGB light. Right now it is blue. So that means if the temperature is below 24, 25 degrees, it will turn blue. If it goes up a bit, it will turn green. But once it hits a certain uh, temperature amount, it will turn red. Okay, the water is still boiling. Now be careful not to dip that directly into the water. We just want to try and... Right now, hopefully, that will uh, that will get hotter. Ah, okay, there you go. You can see, right, it's 25 degrees and it turns green. It's now 26, 27, right? Watch the fan as well. There we go. Now, it's 30 degrees. Uh, RGB LED turns red. Fan turns on, effectively cooling all the rooms, making sure nobody heats up too much and it's uh right now it's 37 degrees it's pretty hot uh, this is boiling water so uh yeah that's expected you can see 32 degrees so if it goes down to i think 28 then it will change to green let's just see what happens it should be working there we go so once it hits 28 degrees yep the fan automatically turns off and uh, all right, and then once it gets down to 25 or 24, it will it will turn blue. And there we go. So that is the automatic fan with the light to regulate the temperature of the roof of the uh, of the flat of the house. Right now, for this part of the video, I have dimmed the lights somewhat so it's easier to see these lights once they are turned on. What we need is an Android phone that is connected uh, to Bluetooth. So what we need to do is go to Bluetooth and hold this down. The ESP32 module we have called PCM Smart Home. So. If you're doing this for the very first time, and it's all in the programming, but if you do this for the very first time, you need to pair up your smartphone with your Bluetooth module on the ESP32 before you uh, go into the terminal app. Now, you're gonna need a terminal app or some kind of a 
controller app. So for example, we have an Arduino Bluetooth controller app that we use for cars. We also have a serial Bluetooth uh, app. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we are connected. So we go to devices and it should say PCM Smart Home. So we click on this one. You'll see the terminal app. I'm just going to wipe the screen and start again. Now, let's say if I want to turn the bedroom light on. So what I would have to do is I need to send the character of number one. If I send a number one, it will turn on the bedroom light. If I send a number two, oops, excuse me. Yep, I've done it. Yep, the master bedroom light turns on. If I send a number three, kitchen light is on. And last but not least, if I send a four, living room light is on. Uh, I can also type in, like say number seven, and it turns that light off and use the other ones and it turns all those lights off. I think if I, t letter A turns all the lights on, the Z turns all the lights off. And of course, you don't have to use the terminal app all the time to do this because it will be very cumbersome. Say if you're in a home and you want to turn on the lights with a flip of a button on a phone, you don't want to be messing around with the terminal app. So what we have here is an Arduino Bluetooth controller app. So if I can just dim this down slightly. You want to make sure that you are connected to your Bluetooth module. So it says PCM Smart Home, and that's great. If you, if you don't think you're connected, press the refresh button uh, and it doesn't work. So, OK, now it's connected. Good. So what we can do is press buttons. And just wait for that. This, uh, this app has like certain ads because it's a free app. OK, there you go. Now, you can see I have different buttons with different labels. I've got bedroom, master bedroom, kitchen and living room. So you can program it. So each time you press a button, let's say the bedroom, see it automatically turns the bedroom light on and off. Master bedroom does the same. Kitchen, living room, you can do a combination as well like that and again you can turn all lights on all lights off if I hold down all lights you can see the on command it's set to character a and off command is to character Z just like what I showed you in the terminal bedroom is one and seven for on and off master bedroom is two and eight living room is four and zero kitchen is three and nine this one is not being used this one is reserved so that is generally how you would, so say for example, you could be in the bedroom and uh, someone forgot to turn the light off in the kitchen. Let's say the kitchen light might be on. You might be in your bedroom. You might be holding your phone. You'll say, oh, well, I'll, I'll turn the kitchen light off and I'll turn it on. Or maybe you're in all the rooms and you wanna just turn off all the lights. All you have to do is hit that button. So that is my smart home project. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Take care and goodbye.